Tristan, tell us why you're auditioning to MC for the first annual Student Council Fundraiser Fashion Show. Have you met me? <laughs> I was inspired by the theme, Old Hollywood Glamour. <laughs> now, just picture this as your opening number. They say Hollywood is where you find the drama and the glamour. But they've clearly never been here to our precious alma mater. From torrid love affairs, disgusting overshares, to grassy you make drama look so good. From trying to mac on our crush, eat cafeteria mush, to grassy you make drama look so good. But tonight's the night to ooh and ah at sexy bots and chiseled jaws. To grassy you make drama look so good. So sit right down and enjoy the show. Designs by the genius Moreno. <laughs> to grassy you make drama. Tristan. Technically, I'm just designing the formal wear. The rest is coming from the mall. <laughs> you two have an immense talent before you. <laughs> uh, Mr. Gates. Uh, thanks. No need to thank me. That was seriously impressive. Well, hopefully a good word from a cool teacher helps my chances. <laughs> no problem, Tristan. Anytime. Ooh, someone's teacher's pet. No, he's just super supportive. <laughs> Don't fight it. We all just saw that tush. Whatever it takes, I can be. I know I can make it sweet. How's my hair wind? Almost as good as my smizing. Got these model auditions locked down. Frankie, what are you doing here? I'm auditioning to be a model. Seriously? I didn't think that was your thing. Chewy, are you getting any of this for DTV? You're missing all the good stuff. Oh, gotta go. Uh, good luck. What do you think he meant when he said he didn't think it was my thing? Who cares? Does he not think I'm pretty enough? No, you are not letting some stupid boy ruin this for you. Okay, who's up next? Right here. Frankie Hollingsworth. Oh, okay. Uh, show us what you got. You looked fierce up there. Really? Absolutely. Winston, you eat your heart out. Becky just texted me. You are now looking at the MC for the fashion show, and the crowd goes wild. <laughs> wow. Yeah! Does that mean you can make sure she chooses me to be a model? Well, buy me lunch first, and I'll see what I can do. Congratulations, Tristan. You deserve it. Thanks, Mr. Hates. Aw, my little Tris Tris. I was going for the unavailable guys. You should have seen how supportive he was at my audition. Yes, because he's your teacher. Oh, what else? Gaspi Garcia had a torrid affair with Mr. Lorenzo. Oh, do you dare call us drive? We had this conversation. And besides, that storyline ended with Gatsby getting gonorrhea. so much to do. Select models, find a choreographer, finish designs. Mm hmm But I'm sure my super talented co-coordinator has some awesome formal wear sketches to show me. These are all sketches of Jack. Yeah. Oh, dear. You got it bad. I can't stop thinking about her. I accidentally wrote her name instead of mine on my history test last week. She got a B plus. Why all the pining? I thought things were moving along with you two. We had a totally romantic dance at the semi-formal, and ever since then, nothing, nada, zilch. You have to ask her out. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. What if she says no? If I never ask her out, I could always pretend she said yes. Living in fear is not living at all. Now, come on, Reno, grow some ovaries. Hey, guys. Hi, Jack. Uh, 
Imogen just has something she'd like to ask you. Will you go out with me tonight? Oh, bummer. I can't. I've got a thing. Well, well maybe I can come with you. I just invited myself. How rude. I'm gonna go. <laughs> no, no, wait up, weirdo. I was just about to ask you if you wanted to come. Yeah? Text you the details. <laughs> See? Life rewards the brave. <laughs> come on, Tris. I owe you lunch. Yeah, I'll be there in a sec. I just need to ask Mr. A's a question about the symbolism of a mockingbird. You know, you're not nearly as good an actor as you think you are. What can I do for you? I just wanted to ask you something, if that's okay. Of course, that's what I'm here for. <laughs> well, um, since I got the MC gig, I have to write all this stuff to say in between the numbers. Uh, it's called banter. Um, well, I was just wondering if maybe you could help me write it. I want to make sure it's like next level, sophisticated and witty. Um, <laughs> Like you. Of course. I'd be happy to. Oh, but if you want to do it today, it'll have to be at my place. Your place? I need to be there for a delivery right after school. No sense coming back. Is that all right? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's perfect. Okay. Here's the address. Thanks. <laughs> uh, Tristan, um, don't mention it to anyone, OK? I just don't want the other students getting jealous. Oh. It'll be our little secret. <laughs> okay. Oh, I can't look, I can't look. Me neither. Get it together, you two. Yes! I made it. Yes! You, you made it. You didn't. Well, this is awkward. Maybe Winston was right. Maybe this isn't my thing. Don't be too hard on yourself. But why? Am I too ugly? Too skinny? Is my weird nose? Don't let it get to you. If I fell apart every time I didn't get a role, well, I'd be in pieces. Hey, um, do you know where Jack is? It's right there. It is? Cute, always rocking my lipstick and killer hair. Yeah, that's Jack. You want? Uh, no thanks, I'm good. You go to Degrassi with her? Yeah. Are all the girls there in love with her too? I don't know why. Just wondering what her dating situation's like at school. I mean, look at her. Who wouldn't want to go out on a date with her? Tristan, great to see you. Uh, I brought some hors d'oeuvres or whatever. <laughs> Come in. That's great, thank you. I got addicted to hummus when I was in Jordan. Oh. Are you all right? You seem a bit nervous. No, I'm awesome. I've just never been in a teacher's apartment before. Oh, well, if it helps, then don't think of me as a teacher. Then how am I supposed to think of you? Creative collaborator. Sit down. Relax. I'll grab us something to drink. I think you'll like this. If not the taste, then at least the romance of the ritual. Is this absinthe? 
Like in Baz Luhrmann's masterpiece, Moulin Rouge. Exactly. Although, I'm more of a Romeo and Juliet man myself. Here's to you, Tristan. Not glad you came. That wouldn't make sense. This is your thing. Of course you came. <laughs> and I see you've met Lucy. She dances here too, but she's way better than me. You're always lying. What's with that? Are you pathological? <laughs> Lucy actually had to point you out to me. I didn't even recognize you. And what do you think? You're incredible. Thanks, girl. I'll get you back next time, okay? No, she doesn't smoke. I never said that. Hey, no pressure. Oh, no, 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 I want to. Okay. Then, open your mouth. I whip around and say, frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. I didn't think anyone your age had seen Gone with the Wind. Well, I'm not like most people my age. No, you're certainly not. You're going to be a great MC. I don't even think you needed my help. I'm sorry. I don't know what I was thinking. Don't apologize. Not for that. I'm, I'm sorry. Where are you going? Uh, I, I have to go. Snack break for my little scholar. Can I have a boob job for my birthday? Hmm. Or a nose job? Mm hmm. Or maybe, I don't know, butt implant? Hmm. First off, absolutely not. Second, where's all this coming from? I didn't get a modeling spot in the fashion show. <laughs> Which means I'm ugly, I guess. <laughs> you are not ugly. You're my beautiful girl. Then why didn't they pick me? Those things aren't about the way you look. They're about politics. I was totally good. Just as good as Keisha and Zoe, anyway. Why don't you try talking to the girls who are organizing it? You have been to the fashion capitals of Europe. You have sat front row at New York Fashion Week. Show them what they're missing out on. Are you sure I can't just get a boob job? Uh-uh. Hey! Hey, so, um, where's Maya? Uh, she's out with her mom. Uh, of course she is. You should be back soon. You wanna wait? Uh, yeah, I guess. You seem upset. You wanna, like, talk or something? Uh, not with you. Okay, just thought I'd ask. What do you do if a girl wants to, you know, go downstairs? On a first date? What, what do you mean, like, to the basement? Yeah, in a manner of speaking. Oh, oh, uh... Um, well, uh, I guess I'd make her dinner. But, like, it's not too forward? No. If anything, it's too awesome. <laughs> Somehow I think I need a second opinion. <laughs> Must be a reason girls read these things, right? Seriously? Yeah. Oh, look at this. Quiz of the month. 
Are you ready to take your relationship to the next level? Fine. Right. First question. Does your boyfriend make you feel A, self-conscious, B, bored, or C, confident? C. Question number two. Would you describe the communication between you and your boyfriend as A, non-existent, B, limited to conversations about pizza toppings, or C, open and honest? C. And finally, do you want to be the idiot who turns down a basement rendezvous? A, no, B, definitely not, and C, are you freaking kidding me? Har har. If you answered mostly C's, congrats. Sounds like you're ready to get steamy with your sweetie. Just remember to stay safe when you're getting sexy. In conclusion, I think you're ready. This is your first time being high, is it? No way. I took the reefer on the daily. <laughs> We're gonna grab food. You guys coming? I was wondering if we could hang out here a bit more and you can show me some moves. Yeah. I'd love that. I'll catch up with you guys later, okay? I had no idea you were such an amazing dancer. I've always loved dancing. And about a couple years ago, I watched this documentary on Martha Graham. Who? She was a choreographer. She made me fall in love with dance as a form of communication. Oh. Well, what does this mean? <laughs> I'm not really sure. <laughs> I just don't understand how you do those amazing things with your body. It just takes a good teacher. When I was a kid, I wanted fortune and fame. But all of that's changed since I've been a man. Love walked in my door. Oh, sorry. <laughs> This love of mine. Jack, I just really want some nachos. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. Now that you know. Hello, Becky. I'd like to talk to you about your decision not to choose me as a model. Oh, uh, yeah, of course. Well, I think you should give me a chance. One, clothes look really good on me, as I've been told by my mom. Two, I've been in New York Fashion Week and totally paid attention. And three, I'm very punctual. Okay, <laughs> great, you're in. I am? That was easy. I'd already decided to give you a second chance. We made a mistake not choosing you the first time around, okay? So just make me proud. <laughs> yeah. Last chance to turn in your essays. Did you need something? I'm so, so sorry about last night. It's fine. Thank you. No, no, it's not. I'm so embarrassed. Please keep your voice down. I had a great time last night. I just wasn't expecting things to happen. I thought you were mature, Tristan. Obviously, I was wrong. What happened needs to stay between us. You understand that, right? Yes, of course. You left your MC notes at my place. I took the liberty of writing a few things down for you. You didn't have to do that. I know. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I slept in. It's 4.30 in the afternoon. Yeah, I may have slept through all my classes. What's wrong? Are you sick? It's not a fever. No, I'm just a little tired from my date with Jack last night. So did you have a good time? We smoked a joint and we danced and we kissed. Imogen, hugs, not drugs. That's why you're such a mess. Did you at least finish your formal work sketches? No. I was gonna get up and do it this morning and then I... You got too high on illegal drugs with your girlfriend and slept in. I'm sorry, Becky.
What are you doing here? I wanted to thank you for the MC stuff you wrote. It was perfect. My pleasure. Have a good night. I know I freaked out before, but it was only because I was surprised. I know you think I'm immature, but I'm not. I'm mature. I'm ready. So.